Okay, here we are with the uh, engine, which in the rear the engine uh, completed. Supercharger, to cool the on there, and all the uh, detail around the bottom. There really is a lot of detail on that. So, we put it in this minute to let's say semi gloss black, along with bits around the front, the uh, propeller. These, these two will be semi gloss. And this one is same gold, I think it is. I'll have to check. But anyway, it's not uh, semi gloss black like the rest of it. And then we've got other bits and pieces go on the side of the engine. And these are aluminium and semi gloss. That's what we put together. Here's the supports for the engine and this pipe work as well. This is all going to be painted uh, copper green or X71. Um, so I've made it up ready for that. I thought I'd do it in black so do a bit of shading and uh, shadow in there. And then these are the bits. And this is aluminium. So these will fit into various parts. And this will go into here. And some of the bits and pieces to go in. And this bit up the top here. Which is this bit goes in after the engine is slotted in. So what I'll do is paint these up and put a little bit of detail so some of these smaller bits are semi gloss black and uh, get a coat of varnish, do a bit of weathering and then we'll put the. Okay, sorry about cutting off the middle of that. Um, got uh, caught out by his knees. Um, so anyway, I was going to say paint it up with a carpet green. Do the detail bits and then we'll varnish it and uh, do a bit of weathering on that. And same, same with the engine. Uh, so once I've done the prime, the main colours, I'll come back and we'll have a look at uh, what I think I'm going to do with the weathering and how much weather I'm going to do. I don't think I'm doing an awful lot, uh, but we'll see what we uh, what we're coming with. And hopefully it'll look really good. Look at all the bits and pieces I got in the uh, post today. I thought I'd uh, get the uh, instrument uh, panel. And this got this from, if you can find it. Got it from these people. Got it from Hanans, Hanans.co.uk. Um, Turn them on uh, the ISM iTunes page. Uh, they were doing a build and uh, advertise these, so I thought I'd have a look at it. And it looks really detailed. And this bit is the uh, compass, uh, so that'll detach and fit to the uh, part that comes with the, with the kit. And then you choose which panel. I think we're doing the square one from memory. And it's got tiny little parts here for the the wheels up, so one says up, one says down on there. So that'd be fun to fit, fit and they all fit on over here on this part. One sitting down, one sitting up. So when I'm doing the uh, cockpit, that'll have some, uh, add some other detail to that. Very simple instructions. That's all the instructions you get. And also what to do as well is zoom out a bit. Got some uh, different decals to go with 
so <coughs> excuse me I'm talking about doing doing this one or this one with the uh, invasion stripes so uh, I'll debate but anyway that could change this one's got an interesting sort of flat design I've not seen that on this bit far before so we can have a look at doing that anyway that's way down the line when we start uh, doing the uh, the final painting. So that's where I'm up to at the moment and uh, so we'll come back when we've done a bit more with the engines. So here we are with the uh, finished engine. Yes it's quite a jump from the uh, the first bit of the uh, tape. I did have all the uh, weathering of the engine, putting the bits together, but somehow I managed to delete it. So here we are with the finished engine part. As you can see lots and lots of little bits of detail in there. Down the back of the engine. All pipes and things. Just the exhausts. Underneath the tank. Do a bit of weathering on that. First little sub assembly finished. Okay, let's have a little bit of a close look around. See those little bits of information in there, detail. Yeah, really quite pleased with that. So, what should we do next? Let's see here, I've done figures. I'm going to do with the pilot in. I thought just to get a bit of practice of figures. I'll we'll do the standard one as well. On there. So, we'll be doing bits and pieces of those in some way. But we'll start simply the light out with. There you go, that's not too bad. See how we get on with doing those. So, off to the next one, don't delete anything, and you'll be able to see a little bit more of what, uh, what I'm up to. Because the idea is put a bit of wiring in the cockpit as well for a little bit, bit of extra detail. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. So, I'll get this posted up, and then the next one will show a little bit more information where I'm up to with the cockpit.